And then here is a 60 year old man with a 25 centimeter mass in the deep soft tissue of the thigh, very big. And here's, a, here's another case that had not the same patient, but had a, uh, an example. Here's a large fatty tumor. And you can see that it's lobules and there are these bands of fibrous tissue subdividing the lobules of fat. And here's a different view and you can see it is all fatty and the signal intensity is the same as the subcutaneous fat right here, but you can see these dark fibrous bands running through it. So that's a very classic example here. So we can say right there, right, the cancer is a atypical lipoma. Very good. So right away, that scan to me is like classic for a typical lipomatous tumor, which is the same thing as well-differentiated liposarcoma. We just give it a different name depending on where it occurs. If it's in the retroperitoneum or less commonly, you can see the mediastinum or uh, another site that is pretty common is paratesticular. We call all of those well diff liposarc because they have more, they have a more of a tendency to cause problems for the patient because they're hard to resect and they will often recur again and again um, over, over years. And eventually, many times patients will die um, from that or they'll de differentiate in the high grade D diff liposarc. But in the extremities, that's not true. In the extremities, usually they can be cured surgically. There are rare cases that can undergo de differentiation in the extremities. But so because of that, when, when this same exact tumor, when it occurs in the extremities or in the superficial soft tissues of the trunk, like in the, in the muscles on the outside of the rib cage or something like that, then we call it ALT, atypical lipomatous tumor. But they are the same tumor otherwise, microscopically and molecularly the same. Now this one is composed of mature fat that infiltrates between skeletal muscle. Now, this is exactly what an intramuscular lipoma looks like, but this is such a huge tumor that it could be a lipoma, but I would not accept that unless I had proven that it's not ALT, well, diff liposarc, okay? And so the one way is we look for atypia, right? And um, if we don't find any atypia and it just looks like a lipoma, but it's this big, usually if it's bigger than 10 centimeters, I'll do fish for MDM2 just to be sure. Because I have seen rare examples of ALT that had no atypia at all. It looked just like a lipoma. I mean, very rarely, but I have seen that before. So because of that, on large cases that look like lipomas, I tend to do MDM too. And I have a full video about liposarcomas that you can go check out if you're watching this at home that goes into more details about when to do MDM too or when I do it. So here, sometimes you do have to look around carefully to find the atypia. I think actually it's best seen on the other profile. Let me see if I can remember where it is. It's very focal. This one mostly looks like a lipoma. So sometimes they look really classic, like the one I just showed you in the retroperitoneum, that area near the kidney, that was like perfect, well diff liposarc classic. Sometimes they are lipoma light and much of the tumor looks just like lipoma. The only difference here is that we're starting to see fat cells of varying size, right? The kind of small, medium and large cells. And then very focally pleomorphic atypical cells scattered in there. And uh, so the, it can be very focal, but usually the cells are so atypical that even from like a 4X magnification objective, you can usually see them. You don't usually have to hunt around on high power, even from lower power, they'll stand out. And there may also be lipoblasts, there may be fat necrosis in here too, um, that sometimes a fat necrosis in a lipoma can mimic ALT. Um, so that can sometimes be challenging. So in cases when I find obvious atypia, then I can make the diagnosis of atypical lipomatous tumor or well diff liposarc, depending on the site. In cases where I have uncertainty, then I do MDM2 fish to confirm the diagnosis. And it's a very sensitive and specific marker um, to distinguish a lipoma from uh, ALT slash well diff liposarcoma. So that's an example of that. And it's important to remember that the infiltration of the muscle by itself does not tell you anything about benign or malignant. Benign lipomas can easily infiltrate and, and, and spread apart muscle just like that. So that by itself is not a concerning feature in a fatty tumor. Um, it's, uh, you can be seen in both benign and malignant cases. So, and see, here's an example that looked kind of atypical, but actually those might just be some cells of fat necrosis kind of clumped together. I can't really tell on this scan and I can't remember, but this, I just remember that this was one that had only very focal atypia um, and that is an atypical lipomatous tumor. So again, these in the extremities have a really good prognosis and are usually cured surgically. And if they recur, the recurrence can be detected early and then removed again. And so those patients usually do well. All right.